the homestead. Today is a fun video. I'm really excited. Today, Dave and I are going to be trying the ostrich meat that we picked up at our ostrich tour the other day. And I am so excited to try this. Now, we did buy this as burgers, but we're gonna do, we're not doing burgers because we're tired of burgers. We've had a lot of burgers in the last little bit for some reason. <laughs> and I thought, well, all it is is ground. We're gonna make tacos. So we're gonna have ostrich tacos because it is Taco Tuesday tonight. And it's one of our favorites. If you're new here, I love Mexican food, love it. Tacos is definitely one of our favorites. A lot of what I'm using tonight too came from my garden, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's, that's, that's a nice fun element. And yeah, we're excited to try these. So I have a few things going already. I'm gonna show you what I've got prepared so far. So I've already made my pico de gallo. Little cherry tomatoes from my garden, a red bell pepper that something was looking like it might start eating or had ate a little bit, so I cut that piece off and the rest was fine. So I have a bell pepper in here, a very small purple onion from my garden, a little bit of lemon juice and some salt, and that's all there you go. And it smells amazing already, and I love this. If I had some cilantro, I would put a little bit of that in there, but I don't have any. So next we're gonna make what I call my avocado crema. It's actually more of a guacamole crema, because first I make guacamole, and then I add sour cream, and I've shared this with you all before, but I'm gonna share it with you again. So in here, I have some avocado that I had frozen when they were on sale a couple weeks ago. And in this, from my garden, is one very small garlic bulb, so maybe four cloves. My wish is that you don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'm running, and you should too, and hit that subscribe button. I know what you've been asking yourself. How can I make a difference? I'm just one person. I can make a difference, but I'm just one person. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that it's free, quick, and easy. Share this video on your social media and make that difference today. We're gonna put a little bit of lemon juice in this also, just a little bit a pinch of salt and in this bowl from last year's harvest I dehydrated during the every bit counts challenge last year a whole bunch it might have been actually near the end of the challenge I did a whole bunch of bell peppers dehydrated I wanted to see how they would hold up they've held up beautifully but in preparing for the every bit counts challenge that starts tomorrow I realized I had not used <sighs> A lot a majority of things I dehydrated or preserved last year um, so make sure you come back tomorrow for the first video for the Arabic counts challenge because my challenge is going to be a little bit different this year with the Arabic counts challenge um, so I'm excited to share that all with you so make sure you come back tomorrow to see that and I'll be explaining what I'm doing but in the meanwhile I have decided to rehydrate all these bell peppers and they're rehydrating beautifully I must say so I'm gonna drain these add a little bit to my guacamole and the rest we're going to saute up to put on our taco tops because David doesn't like guacamole and he doesn't like pico de gallo but he does like the bell peppers so okay we're gonna strain these Okay, so I've strained these and they rehydrated really really well so we're gonna add I don't know maybe two tablespoons We'll do three, <laughs> a little more. And the rest I will uh, set aside and we'll saute them up in a few minutes. And then I like my guacamole smooth. So we're just going to blitz, blitz this up with my immersion blender. Okay, that's good for now. We are gonna blend it again some more in a minute. And if you don't have an immersion blender, you can do this in your regular blender. I just I didn't wanna dirty up my blender and this works great, so. Now, I just, I took this out of the freezer, so I'm hoping we have enough here thawed out. So I like to put roughly a little less than equal the same amount of sour cream as um, the guacamole. Now, I am going to go throw this in the microwave on defrost just for a few seconds because she is still pretty, pretty frozen. Okay, and then we're just going to blitz it all together. Okay, that is perfect. We're gonna taste it, see if it needs any more salt. Mmm, that's good. Just a tad bit more salt. 
and just a little bit more lemon juice. Oh, that's better. Mmm, that's good. So good. Now this is way more than I will eat tonight <laughs> with supper. So I freeze it in small containers. This is also really good with um, tortilla chips as a dip. Like really good. Okay, we got our peppers cooking up in the small frying pan here. And this was four burgers. Um, when I went to take them out, they were two on top of one another. So, and I'll tell you, it smells exactly like cow. <laughs> like uh, red, like beef. And it is a red meat, which is what so surprised me, which obviously you can tell it's a red meat. I had no idea ostrich meat was a red meat. So I'm just seasoning it with my taco seasoning and I shared recently how I make mine and I will link that somewhere here or at the end of the video. Um, so you can see that if you missed it. And I just gotta get my number one cheese shredder to shred some cheese. And I'm gonna get the taco shells warming up in the oven. So there is the ostrich meat. So Dave and I actually prefer to have this as like a salad. So I just, I'm gonna crunch up my two taco shells. Get all my fixins going and then we will take a bite and see what we think. Okay, is that not pretty? It's another reason why I love Mexican food. It's the colors are so amazing. Okay, so are you ready, David? <laughs> See if I can get us both in here. Okay. <laughs> Ostrich tacos. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It tastes no different. You would never know that wasn't beef. A little bit different, but... Not enough to make me say, what's that weird meat? Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe there's a different spice or something, but not. It's good. Who knew, right? <laughs> oh. I think it's good. I will tell you it's pricey like really pricey. I think they had a small steak there. It was like $38 or $33, something like that. So it's not something we would buy a lot of, but hey. Works. It's really good. I'll also put my video of, of the ostrich tour that we just took that I shared yesterday with you all for any who might've missed it. So you can see all the amazing facts about ostrich. <laughs> But honestly, life is too short not to try new things. Believe me. That's good. I like it. So there you go. If you're on the fence about trying ostrich and you love beef, I say go for it. And if you're allergic to beef, go for it. Because people who are allergic to beef can eat ostrich. Again, if you see my video with those facts I put up about ostrich meat, it talks about that. So... Okay, friends, thanks for coming along with us while David and I tried something new. <laughs> As it, the word of the year is fearless. <laughs> Until then, take care. God bless. And we'll see y'all soon.